Oh, no. Okay, yeah, we're yeah. back on air. Um, you're watching Cheche live on Citizen TV. Today's guest is the Education Minister and Boni MP Mutula Kilonzo. And one of the things you want to do is to become the Senator of Makuweni. Why? Well, um, you know, that's a good question. And uh, the best way is to give you my manifesto. Okay. It's a beautiful oh. manifesto. In fact, I don't <laughs> think there's any other senator who has produced a manifesto like that. Okay. Um, the main reason mm -hmm. is that uh, having participated in Bombers 1, Bombers 2, Bombers 3 for a new constitution, as well as the 2005 referendum, and then uh, played my symbol role in facilitating the new constitution, I understand that without devolution, Kenya's aspirations to a new constitution will lose close to 70% of its efficacy. And therefore, uh, in light of the fact that elections are coming up in March, the best thing that I can do for my country at this time is to ensure that devolution is implemented. And to ensure devolution is implemented is to go to the Senate so that I can participate in its formation, its establishment, the laws that they will be putting forth, and above all to fight for my county, Makoweni. We have been viewed as a very poor county. We have been viewed as a very um, uh, marginalized county. But I believe that we have enough resources. And therefore, my manifesto is here. You can read it and ask me any questions that you like. I, I think I am the best suited person, why particularly you, on legislation. Why are you not going for anything higher than a senator? People have said that uh, you're a worthy uh, running mate of uh, these candidates who are scrounging around for well, they haven't, they haven't asked me, and if they did, I would answer them. So for the time being, allow me not to speculate. But for, for the moment, uh, if you remember, I crafted the coalition agreement between Vice President Kalonzo and President Kibaki that created stability for the country. I participated in a serena, serena mediation. I then participated, only one of three people, James Orengo, myself, and Amos Wako, in crafting the National Accord and Reconciliation Act and the agreement that brought the grand coalition government so out of that and many uh, yeah yeah mm. uh, other than my what appears to irritate you my function in kanu trust me i have skills and these okay. skills are available to my people they were misused then during campaign. no 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 i i'm not quite sure they were misused <laughs> but the fact of the matter is that because when a lawyer gives advice the client is not obliged to follow the mm -hmm. advice yeah. the lawyer must retreat and allow the client to make his own Someone decision. in Boni is taking issue with mm. your um, uh, term there, saying, explain how you feed lions with meat when Boni, we are starving to death. No, no, no. Nobody is starving to death in Boni. And uh, the, the lions that I keep are driven by another dream that I have of a country that respects its conservation, a country that respects the gifts that God gave to us. And lions don't eat healthy meat. The meat that we give to lions is normally meat, either a snake bite or a goat or a cow. So how many lions do you keep? Five. And what Two else? cheetahs. Uh, I've got a cheetah called Okambo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call the lions then? <laughs> one of them is called Mutula. The other two, one is called Nduku after my wife and the other one Sis. Uh, one is named after my grandmother and, uh, and so on and so on. Now, yes, uh, being, being, a, being a considerable wealthy person, Mm. What, the, what, what does that mean? That you can feed lions and uh, of course uh, 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 at one time in fact uh, you are very powerful. That time you had a lot of money. Uh, you even had in, you invited President Moy to your place for lunch. And considering that your area as we said is relatively poor. What would you say you have done to elevate their, their lifestyle so that you have... Uh, I have done a lot of work. Uh, I'm happy to say that I have done a lot of work. God's grace. And basically government is to improve infrastructure, rural electrification, roads. Uh, I've even bought um, through CDF uh, a grader for the roads, uh, developing schools, elevating education. In terms of You're personal, what, what, yeah. personal, uh, yeah, or personal I, I, have wealth, never, I have never understood, I have never understood a member of parliament as an automatic teller machine so that I come and look after your personal welfare. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a member of parliament and the so, positions I'm seeking in public life yeah. are to facilitate policies. If this person, for example, were to look at the article in the constitution that gives the Kenyan the right to quality and sufficient food, surely isn't that enough to create okay. a mechanism that the state will look after my people? Because I can't feed you 
It's like, uh, you know, I also keep beehives. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you only look at the lions. Mm -hmm. I have close to 400 be beehives. And one of the lessons I've learned from keeping bees is that you can never satisfy a beehive. Day to day, you still must continue putting pollen inside. So the important thing about quality leadership is to transform the situation so that things percolate down from the top for the benefit of the individual, not to go giving handouts. Okay, uh, uh, this man who is uh, right. saying bony people are dying, mm -hmm. uh, 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 for example, doesn't seem to realize that the little that I've been able to do in four years and 11 months has transformed not just Kenya, but also the area called Mboni. In terms okay. of governance, uh, Motula, mm. we, we, you know, you have that uh, history with Khan. Mm. Uh, and no, you can't get out of this. Uh, I cannot because <laughs> it, it is how we can account <laughs> for even, you being even, here. Even the Romans, uh, even the Romans, yes, ended up listening to Paul yes. and they converted to Christianity. Yes, and that is why the uh, capital of Roman Catholic Church is in Rome. That is so. A, you, that's it's about agreed. time you got converted. That's so, a great. So you agree. <laughs> <laughs> agree that's a great. Okay, okay, we have 10 minutes left, so yeah. we need to be quick because that we have to discuss coalition <laughs> politics. That's Final no, just, question just, on that issue, just, David. No, no, yes. no, I want to look no, at No, 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 the man is stuck in a hole. Get him out of it. Mutula, mm. the question is, mm. you are a fabulously wealthy person. Mm. What does How that mean? You have a lot of money mm. and property. What does that mean? My wealth wait, wait, is in my... No, 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 I cannot let you get away with that because that are is a denying, confusion you, in you Kenya. No, do me a favor. My wealth is in my head. brain power. Yeah. You can take away everything I have today. I can give you. And I can make more, I just like know. Job, if you remember. Let me ask so the don't question. look at the small no, 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 things no. that I have. Let me <laughs> ask David, the question. The question please, is, yes. mm. how did you make all this wealth? I'm one of the best lawyers this region has ever produced. I'm the first... East African to get a first class honors law degree. And I was the best in the Kenya School of Law. I still have the present. I am as good as you can get. <laughs> and I am a, yeah, it's a fact. And, and, and I charge as much. I, I easily, by the time I left law, although my children are drifting towards that direction, I was the most expensive lawyer in Kenya, sometimes charging up the, to the $1,000 an hour. Well. So therefore, I am trained for wealth creation. And Banamakali, trust me, if you want, and Kenya allows, I'll give you everything I have. And within a year, I'll probably ask more. <laughs> then no, when did you, why did you find it difficult to pay income tax? <laughs> no, but you know, again, you are also stuck. I'm not stuck. I just you, say, cannot this pay, this you cannot pay a tax that is politically motivated, politically created, and a tax that is unfair, that is unreasonable. And there are mechanisms for fighting it, and I've been fighting it, I'll continue fighting it, but I will not allow that uh, fixation you have with tax to slow me down, to, to say, oh, Mutula, you have a problem with okay, income the tax, the question therefore is, you can't uh, do something the question, the question, Mutula, why I ask that question is mm. because there is a belief in the public domain mm. that you served Kano so well, mm. and part of the Kano machinery mm. was really huge corruption, uh, and that part of your wealth came from serving the corruption cartels which paid you handsome. Nah, so you applied well, your knowledge, there's no well, doubt well, about well, it. I must, but I must, all the deals I might find NSSF a way of giving you a workshop. I must give that, you a workshop. That, uh, a, lawyer, a lawyer gives a fee note in writing. It is presented is to the client. <coughs> you, the lawyer doesn't hold a knife or a gun at <laughs> the client. Mm -hmm. The client pays the fees. Otherwise, by now, they would have caught me. Either on land, look at the Dungu Commission, I've never taken an inch of Kenyan soil. I never will. Or a corrupt deal, importing yes. a car without paying mm -hmm. duty, or something like what that. What about the Kenyan Kenya Conference Center? Which one? And its ownership to buy can. I have the title deed even now in the safe. In so fact, uh, Honorable Salat, the Secretary General, called me the other day asking where the title deed is. Yes. And it's yeah. still in my safe. Yes. The okay. fact of the matter yeah. is... Who owns that pr property? Yeah. The, the building belongs to Kano. Okay, so we've got five <laughs> minutes <laughs> left, and I... Yeah. We, we, I have the title in when I'm taking it. Uh, uh, you know? Yeah, there is this small matter which I think you need to deal with in, regarding in your clients yeah. and, and, and uh, just uh, the pursuing the same line of how money is made, even as a lawyer. Yeah. You, you have been associated with this thing about a bachelor's transfer of uh, money. Nonsense. I want you to Don't just... Don't go there because I would sue you. No, you can't sue me no, because I'm I talking to you directly. No, no, you are, but you know, <laughs> if, if you, I would sue you yeah. because the fact of the matter is yes. I don't know a bacha, I never dealt with him, and yes. uh, so on and so on. And the fact of the matter is I never handled 
Correct the money, money that was transferred uh, through time. a company For which you held anybody, directorship in. I want you to try today to bring me corrupt money. I will call the police. Uh -uh. I'm I, I have specific never, I have never the dealt with of the money that was said to have been transferred by through the the a local bank in the company that you were director, mm -mm. and that money billions mm -mm. left through that mm -mm. account. No, what no, do you have no, to say? no, 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 no. On the, on the contrary, in fact. I've already, um, if, if we were to find the details, you would apologize to me even now. You would clarify because the details are live. I mean, just clarify the fact so that of the, the matter the is, uh, again, let me uh, permit you, that company has never opened a bank account. And if you were to come across that information that we have never at any time, either during that period or now, opened a bank account, then you would have to explain how a company that does not have a bank account can transfer money through a bank. Why was your company then mentioned, that company? Asha. Well, why was it mentioned? You know, Mutegi, I've worked with you for a long time. Haven't you heard of uh, identity theft? Yeah. It's happening all the time. Mm -hmm. You go, you pick an identity of an individual, you use that identity to do corruption. Is that individual whose identity you have stolen corrupt? No. So what happened in this Thank you. Case? Can you answer loudly? What, what happened is he in corrupt? So, um, so, I'm being asked so, to wind up. So, that, um, so could you just uh, answer it, put it on the record so that we can move on because we're running out of time? No, uh, but, but how can I know? I've just told you. That you the directors of the in. company have never opened a bank account in Kenya or anywhere else in the world. So therefore the claim that a company that does not and has not opened a bank account can transfer corrupt money from A to B is ridiculous and ludicrous. And uh, trust me, What's don't it? say that outside uh, certain <laughs> parameters because, because you, so you face we legal okay. here. But the other thing that you have said about your um, professional um, experience is this uh, crafting of coalitions. Mm. And at the moment, um, yeah. you are negotiating for your party, the Wiper Democratic Movement. Um, although, of course, the perception is that your chairperson and presumed presidential candidate is fairly indecisive. Um, but you seem to be um, taking him towards an alliance with his erstwhile <laughs> Um, enemy, um, the Prime Minister no, no, Raila no, Odinga. No. Prime Minister Raila Odinga is not Kalonso's enemy. Mm. Or, uh, Never mind ODM. that they split it's under Akimura. No, no, no. no. Uh, I remember that. Remember, I'm the one who registered ODM. Mm -hmm. I climbed the gate of the Attorney General. Remember, you covered that story very well. To go and collect the certificate. Mm -hmm. They are not enemies. In politics, they are no mm -hmm. permanent enemies or permanent friends. Mm -hmm. It is only permanent interests. And arising Marriages from the of convenience. Yeah arising from the mistreatment of my party, not just Kalonzo himself, mm -hmm. but by G7, yeah. I have no option than to look for other alternatives. And I'm looking very hard. In case you have a party, I, I want to talk to you so that we can form a broad-based government. I intend to use my skills, they are available to Kenya between now and Tuesday, to offer Kenya a broad-based government. And I'm very actively engaged in this. I can't give you details. But the fact of the matter is that Kenya deserves better because our individual parties, Kenya is too bigger than all of us put together. So therefore, for the moment, I am... But, but the, only thing, the, only thing I can do, the only thing I can do is support somebody charged with international crime. Crimes against humanity are no-go zone for Mutula Kilonzo, permanently. What and do you mean Mwesho? support? Let me get this clear Which from means you. Oh, uh, Kalonzo Musioka wants to run for president. He's seeking the support of Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. Is in that yeah. still bringing the same ICC? Uh, yeah. What you don't want to bring it back to yourself? No, I can't accept. But when, not, when you are in G7, when you are not I, in G7, I have never been G7 or G20. Yeah. I don't know what, what G stands for. So why for what? Never, never, never. I'm the Secretary General Mutegi. I keep on reminding you these things because but you know. But Kalonzo says as Secretary by his General, mm -hmm. I would have to sign the minute that authorizes a coalition with the G7. Conversations have taken place, and mm. he has um, walked out of those conversations because he felt that he was not given his proper due because yeah. he was being asked to take uh, what he perceived to be junior so. positions. But you, you do expect a human rights lawyer like me to block Kalonzo from having conversations, mm -hmm. he's free to converse with whoever. We are, we are talking about the nitty-gritty, the uh, agreements. Okay. At, uh, you remember even when I handed over to Honorable Eugene Wamalo, I told him, you are lucky you are a member of G7. I am mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. because I cannot join. You are judged by the company you keep. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to join you at whatever cost if you are charged with crimes against 
humanity. Does I will avoid you like the plague until such a time <laughs> right. as you clean your Does nose. that mean yes. that if he wanted to go a certain way that you did not, uh, that you disagree with, that you would part company oh with yes. him? Oh, yes, mm. easily, that's, that's easily, mm. easily. Please he take did. it that's, that's for granted. If Mwishima mm. Kalonzo were to sign an agreement with Uhuru and Ruto today, Mutula would be out. Uh, I, I, I mean, I have no apologies. As I said, my wealth, my skills mm -hmm. are here. And until you drill it out, I would use it to form a national government that is not appearing to be offering an umbrella, the wiper umbrella, to people charged with international crime. That so I can't can I just tell us what you, what you anticipate, what do you expect to happen between now and the 4th of December? We are going to give you um, a coalition. Uh, 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 take it from me. Uh, Minus... Minus, minus, uh, minus, minus, those two minus, minus the two. Mm -hmm. Those two gentlemen, yes. Mm -hmm. you, do you think you can uh, cook one minus two? Or, or, or oh, or yeah, it's so easy. I mean, uh, uh, Ben Soda has been to Kenya and they said that crime is not community. There are lots of people we can get from those communities, <coughs> able people, uh, who can open a window and hold the fort until those two gentlemen, who are my friends, can clear their names. They don't believe it, but Mutegi, as you remember, because you are fixation with the Kano, it is Mwishima Uru Kenyatta as chairman of Kano and Honorable Ruto as secretary general who nominated me to parliament. And they did an administration. And personally, I regard them as friends. I gave advice to the country. They ignored the advice. And until their names are cleared, I will not keep their company. So what ideology um, would underpin the coalition that you are seeking to craft? Constitutional implementation. That is uh, the irreducible condition Mutula has. Anybody who wants to talk to Mutula, uh, uh, to work with him, must commit to constitutional implementation for this country. Because I think that is the only window left for us to be able to move to the next level as a country. Okay. Thank you. And that's where we'll have to end Cheche this week. Our thanks to the Education Minister and uh, Honorable MP from Boni, Mutula Kilonzo, and to panelists Mutegin Jao and David McCarley for their time. We've had a lively discussion um, this morning, so <laughs> thanks again. My name is Udwa Kamimo. Uh, enjoy <laughs> the rest of your week, and thank you for watching. <laughs> 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 <laughs>